Diablo 2 Resurrected is out. This is, of course, the remaster to the original Diablo 2, which I have much nostalgia for. It is one of my favorite games of all time. So I was quite excited to see how they were able to remaster this. And I got some thoughts. It's still a great game, but it could have been an even better remaster. So it's time to dive in and discuss it right now. Guys, what's going on? My name is Zach. I'm one of your main hosts at Critics Play Games. We also have Christian and Leo who are also some of the hosts, but they're not really that much into Diablo, but I am, and I wanted to do a solo installment discussing my thoughts on the Diablo 2 Resurrected, of course, the remaster of Diablo 2, one of the most infamous dungeon crawlers of all time. Of course, this is kind of our in-between before we do get Diablo 4, which is supposed to come out next year with Overwatch 2. Pretty excited to see that, and we do have some gameplay going up right here, right now, and this is some beautiful 4K gameplay that I really much like, and that's one of the things we're starting this any way, shape, and form. It's talking about how good the game looks. Now, of course, this is bare bones a remaster. They took the exact same game up the assets and made it run a little bit better with the 60 frames per second on consoles and of course just the graphics and all the assets looking a little bit nicer diablo looks cooler mephisto as you can see right now looks cooler ball even the characters and the animations that you do with them are great i always go with the necromancer personally so raising these skeletons and these golems and running around with them the effects look awesome and better than ever but the thing that i'm still curious on to see if they are able to enhance at all was of course the actual game and you know when we look at diablo 3 which i think runs on a way more solid and better engine but i've always found that the game to be a little bit too easy and honestly not that tough and when i beat it i remember i beat it barely went back through it where Diablo 2, when I was a kid, I would play this game constantly, and I always have this urge to go back to it. And same thing goes for right now, where I've finally beaten this version of Resurrected, and I have the itch to go back and play as a different character, as a druid or as a barbarian, and try their abilities, and you know, play with other friends and see how they're going. Because one of my friends who picked up Diablo 2 for the first time loves Diablo 3, and I can tell he's not a big fan of this one. And a lot of the reason also goes, this game is way tougher than Diablo 3, in my opinion. Diablo 3 has its moments, but I never found myself getting mad or feeling like, okay, I got to figure out a strategy for this boss. It was always click, 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 kill, 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 use this ability, this ability. Or Diablo 2, it always felt like not a chore necessarily, but an actual, you have to think what your next move is. And I love games that do that so much. And Diablo 2 continues that avenue of it all. And I think for people who are looking for a harder, tougher experience are going to find that within Diablo 2. And I have to say, say right now that Diablo 2 Resurrected is a great remaster, but it could have been even perfection. And going to the perfection, the one thing I do want to mention is, of course, with Blizzard, their servers coming out the starting day was terrible. I almost took the day off from work, and thank God I didn't, because if I would have, I would have been absolutely pissed. Because when I had gotten off work, the servers were still not working for me. I could not play the game until at least 10 o'clock at night, and then I really couldn't even get into a stay in the game with my friend until maybe two days later, which that is not a good thing. And I'm going to tell you that right now. That is not a good sign. Um, The servers are still a prevalent issue in this game. And it is absolutely baffling to me that if I want to play offline, I have to make a completely separate character. I think it is absolutely horrendous choice to do. And I'll even add as far as to say, there are some certain things with the customization of private lobbies and stuff where it doesn't really work. I, I, I like the sentiment of joining a random lobby, but sometimes I'll join a lobby and they've already done a quest that I need to do even though I clicked to do that quest with them and they didn't do it. And it really much, for me, it just didn't work in that avenue. And I really needed a lot more from that perspective personally. And for me, it just wasn't the greatest thing that I was really much looking forward to. I think Diablo 2, again, adds to so much to this world and it brings to life this remaster that I adored so much as a kid and that nostalgic overload is going through. But I cannot overlook the issues with the server and especially how they still get in my way of playing a game. I don't have all the time in the world to play a Diablo game anymore or even just in general play games. When I play games, it's my one time in relaxation to do it and diablo 2 i was wanting to have that as this fun little dungeon crawler but it absolutely sucks when i get home from work 
and I hop on and I'm like, hey, I'm I'm going to play Diablo today. And then I hop on. I'm like, can't play. It's not a great choice. And I really wish Blizzard would seriously get these down or at least fix it to where I can play offline at the same time as online or play as the same character. I, I just think it's absolutely baffling. Besides that, though, I really haven't had any technical glitches or issues that I've run into where it let me not play the game. And I really appreciate how they are able to dive into that and still let me play the game when I actually can do it. Systematically, the technical aspect of it all is beautiful. Diablo 2 Resurrected, if you've never played Diablo 2, is a great way to reinvigorate your love for the franchise before Diablo 4. The dungeon crawling is awesome. The characters each have their own ability, and it is a tough game to beat, but you will put many hours into it, and it still is the same classic experience that I played back in the day. And, I, and for better or worse reason, I didn't really want them to change anything. It's slower, it's more methodical than the newer Diablo 3, but I love that, and it actually gets me more excited to see what they might be doing with Diablo 4 as of right now. So, with all that said, Diablo 2 Resurrected is a blast of a time. I had so much fun with it, even if the server issues are still prevalent issue, and I'll probably won't be playing the game too often right now until I really see that they are truly fixing that. I need a lot more from this all, and in general, Diablo 2, though, if you've never played it, I do recommend still getting it, but maybe wait till it's on sale. But for fans who can't wait, you're still going to have a great time. And I still think Diablo 2 Resurrected is a great time. And the, the game is just great. I've said great a lot. That's why this is a podcast. And I don't know any cuts. Thank you so much for watching this, though. Or listening if you're listening to us on audio only. I very much appreciate it. Head over to Critics Play Games on Twitter right now and follow us over there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to where you're listening right now for all sorts of great gaming content. There's so many games coming up, and we're going to be trying to cover every single one of them. My name is Zach. Once again, I'm one of the hosts of Critics Play Games. And of course, until next time, have a great day and keep playing games.